Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna go over intake manifolds here. Um, I have a few examples. So this guy here is a stage six. Give the same as a, very similar to a, um, a Naraku style manifold. So you're gonna see ones like this on eBay. They're called CT or they're gonna be no name. They're gonna be chrome or black. Um, most common is chrome and they actually just have a spigot here with the boot. You're not gonna get anything like this. So. Um, my first words of advice would be stay away from those because they leak, they're brittle. Um, the K, I've had the cages shatter on them before just by pulling them out and having them crack and fall apart. Um, but if you're on a budget and you don't mind um, fixing it, then you can make them work. But they're just poor quality to begin with. So anyways, that's why I'm going to show you the Stage 6. Um, the Stage 6 has replaceable, you can replace this boot. So um, several different sizes as well. So. Um, with this manifold, what you'd want to do installing it, and this is on a 94-01 Honda Elite, Honda Dio, and then you can use these on the arrows if you use our adapter. So use the gasket that goes here, but Honda bond both sides of the gasket, let it get kind of tacky, and then put it together. And you, I let that cure. Um, I let it cure overnight. Um, what's nice about this one is it's got this um, rubber, this rubber coating on the cage. So technically, you don't have to seal this up. Um, you don't have to use any gaskets because it's already rubber, but I just Honda bond everything because it just it only takes a second So um, up to you whether you want to Honda bond this or not, but this creates a nice good seal um, Again, you don't need to Honda bond. There's no gaskets you use with this either. So that is the benefit of this cage um, So if you run the CT manifold again, I wouldn't but uh, Just because of quality, but if you do what you need to do so on the CT manifold, this surface is untrue because it's made in China, probably by three-year-olds. Um, this surface is, no offense to three-year-olds, um, this surface is, is untrue on that manifold. This surface is untrue on the manifold and so is this one. So what you need to do, um, if you don't want to go to a machinist, you can actually take a piece, piece of glass or um, a really, really flat um, stone or granite and you can put a really fine grit sandpaper over the top like I, you you could use this table I would not use a piece of glass or a piece of stone it's true put the sandpaper paper over the top and just do this and what that's gonna do is that's gonna true the surface up to make sure you get a good seal I'd say probably 85% of those manifolds will leak so if you're having a hard time tuning your carb um, on your bike and you're running one of those Chinese or whatever uh, CT style chrome manifolds that's probably your problem um, I've yet to see one that doesn't leak so Again, put a piece of uh, really fine grit sandpaper um, or emery cloth or whatever on a really flat piece of surface and or flat surface. And I don't mean the ground, I don't mean your carpet or your countertops, I mean a piece of granite or something that's going to be really, really true That's that's got a flat, um, a true flat surface to it. A uh, piece of steel if it's a, a thick enough piece. But anyways, just work it back and forth and you're going to see the scratched area. Um, you'll see an area that's going to be um, untouched and then the other area that's going to be scratched from the sandpaper and bright. You want to do it until the whole area is bright because that's showing that the whole area has been sanded um, equally. So you want to do that on this side, this side, and on this side. So you need to do all those surfaces on the CT. You need to Honda bond it for, for sure. Don't use just use the gaskets they give you, but use Honda bond as well. Um, on this manifold, you don't need to do any of that. Um, you don't really need to actually use any Honda bond anywhere technically, but on this or the Naraku, I would use it in between here. I'd, I mean, I would use Honda bond everywhere, to be honest. Um, another common mistake too is these. They have a lip in them to, to fit inside the groove on the carb. So if your carburetor um, doesn't have that groove, you're, you're, it's not gonna, it's not gonna snap in nice like the Polini CP. Uh, let's see if I have a carburetor here. I think I took them all upstairs. The Polini CP has a groove and other carbs have a groove for these to kind of snap in place. And if you over tighten these, you're gonna stress these out and um, they're eventually gonna to fail too. So you see a lot of them that are cracked around here, they'll crack over time just like rubber if you keep them outside, high humidity, high heat, or you just simply over tighten it, they'll crack. So these are great manifolds and Naraku's are great manifolds. I kind of like the Naraku manifold more because it comes with both sizes of adapters, stage six, makes you buy the, the the size for like 24 to 32 separately and they're out of stock they've been out of stock for two months and so that's kind of how the stage six stuff goes great product but just keep in mind this one only comes with a smaller spigot for like a delorto um uh delorto or cp it's not going to be the large spigot for like an okao or whatnot so anyways that's the do manifold um 
So next thing, this is a little bit different, but uh, this is a Minarelli 360 degree manifold, so you can rotate the carb any way you want. Something to keep in mind with these is Honda bomb this always, but these are great for guys running CPs and even maybe 24s, but you get into the 28s, 30s, and the larger size carbs, this, this is a problem. They're really small. As you can see, it'll fit a large carb, but this is a massive restriction. So I'm gonna show you that compared to an MXS. So, you can see a difference. 